Hi, this is Kit, and in my last YouTube video on my beehive, I was showing that I had signs of an imminent swarm, and I want to kind of do this video as a stage two of that discovery. So I'm showing you a diagram that shows you how quickly queen bees emerge between when they are laid as an egg and they come out as a queen. Um, the ones that I found were in about day six of their kind of development stage. So they looked like this little tiny larva in a milky white creamy substance, but that's getting a little bit ahead. Um, I actually was checking my hive weekly because of how quickly that process goes once you um, discover. So you might recall from my past footage, I had some empty bars put in here. So you're gonna see, actually they've done quite a lot of work on those empty bars. But I'm doing the footage really fast through this initial inspection because I'm actually going to slow down and I'm going to live narrate my um, inspection and how I ended up splitting the hive. So as I was doing my inspections, the objective was to monitor the swarm cells, to look for all the swarm cells which tend to develop on the edges. So you can see I use my flashlight to look inside. I even go into the daylight to try to verify that there are in fact uh, like I guess whether or not there's eggs and this was a hive inspection that I did on a Thursday and I was quite certain I saw some eggs in the bottom but it's really hard to see because these cells tend to be very deep so I'm slowing the footage down a little bit because I thought that I caught a glimpse of some eggs and just a little bit of a glisten at the base of that swarm cell. So I actually take it out into the daylight to get a better look in this footage. And, you know, ultimately I did discover I was right that there were eggs because when I came back um, a mere four days later, I had, you know, quite developed queens in um, some of my swarm cells and they became kind of queen cells at that point. So this was, you know, again, a Thursday, and I ended up coming into my hive this very day, um, Memorial Day, to do a check, and then I ended up splitting everything. So I want to get through kind of showing you what I was doing and mo how I was monitoring the hive prior to this split, because you can't split it till, well, I guess you can, you can split it, you can do whatever you want, but the best way, at least according to the experts, which I am not, um, the best way is to watch for eggs to actually be like laid in these swarm cells because it indicates that naturally these bees want to swarm, which is again, reproduction at the hive level. So if I wait for queens to be present in these swarm cells, that means I'm cooperating with the natural instincts of the bees, which again is kind of the way that I like to keep my bees. I like for them to do a little bit of the, to have agency in their own life a little while I, you know, get to harvest delicious honey from them. I still try to take care of them. So this was again that Thursday and I came in and here's when I'm going to start the live narration. Um, I'm, I'm speeding it up for a little bit till we get to the point when I actually do discover signs that there are little larval stage queens. And it's a little bit of a cooler day. It's probably 60 degrees or so. So the bees are just a little less active than if they were, uh, if I was handling them at 70 degrees, they would have been, you know, flying around quite a bit more, but they were just kind of sleepy. And I also wonder if they, you know, instinctively know that they are about to go and have a swarm if they're just bunkering down because they are a lot less active than they normally are. So I'm going to quit talking and I'm going to let my narration um, start here shortly. But you can see, um, if you recall back to my other videos, you can compare actually these back stages, um, the back few bars of the um, the footage when I was inserting like completely empty bars and you can see the work that they've done comparatively but on that note I'm going to let you just watch and learn how I went about 
splitting this hive. It's a very long video because again, I'm doing it live. It took me about an hour and a half to do this total. So it was um, a bit of a job because normally a hive inspection for me is about 30 minutes. At this point, I'm a little more experienced as a beekeeper, so I'm a little bit faster. But here, enjoy. Oh yeah, I am quite certain that's a queen. Oh yeah, I got queens. All right, this gets real. This gets real now. All right, so now I have to find my queen. Man, shoot. All right, first, make sure there is no, no swarm cells. No swarm cells. No swarm cells. This is the first comb that's going over to the split. It is capped brood almost entirely with a little bit of honey on top and no swarm cells are present. Um, after a careful inspection, the queen is not present either. show off what this looks like. All right, now. So I have two sw swarm cells that have active, you can see the presence of like glossy jelly, like milky white, and there's little larvae that are growing. The larvae looks to be like filling the base of these cells, but not yet forming like a distinct abdomen. So it just looks like a well-developed larva of a drone or a worker bee. But geez, there are two queen cells that have this. All right, I know you girls are gonna be mad at me. Let me see, it looks like actually three all three of these have swarm cells with um, milky royal jelly on the bottom. So I'm going to mark that. Three queen cells with a box. So prior to this, I had some forming honey and this does not have a queen or any swarm cells however I think I'm going to take this bar with the bees that are on it I'm going to do a careful inspection for swarm cells and then I'm going to place this into the new split 
so swarm cells like to be at this little merge part and then along the edges so I'm going to inspect the edges here and there is no swarm cells I'm going to do a quick inspection to make sure my queen isn't here although that would be really weird because this is honey and queen usually hangs out with her babies I'm also going to use my flashlight to verify that it's honey and no brood um, just to make sure that I understand what I'm moving over to my new hive. I'm moving this over to the new hive with the bees that are on it. All right, I'm going to move another one of these building out combs over there as well. Quick inspection to make sure my queen isn't there, but that would be insane. So I just need, um, I'll show off in a minute. I can't use full fully built out combs at the front of these because there's a piece of wood that actually meets the comb on the bottom if I use fully built out. So I need two kind of to behave as spacers at the front and I'll show that in the footage when I move over to the new hive to show it off. I'm going to return and start inspection again. So, this had signs of swarm cells and then was brood comb, not drone comb, on my last inspection, according to my notes. So I'm looking for my queen right now because I really need to find her. Right, there are signs of brood and I'm gonna have to smoke the edges to look inside of the swarm cells from last time so you can see there's actually a couple of the bulbs of swarm cells that are being like pushed back worked back down into the frame so those don't have any but I can see here even before smoking that there appears to be really well developed swarm cells right here you can see it right there and I'm gonna take a peek but I have this strong feeling those are going to also oh actually I do not see signs of royal jelly or anything so there could be an egg at the bottom it's just too difficult to see those are very pronounced swarm cells though they have like a little bit of this whiteness on the outside, which may maybe what, what's referred to frosting the swarm cells. But because there's present swarm cells, I am leaving this here. And I'm not gonna mark that there's actually queen cells because I didn't see any sign that there's queens present in those swarm cells. But I am going to leave it in this hive. This comb should have just drone comb, or this bar should have drone comb which will be rather mostly hatched out. So I'm looking for my queen again. I, I don't see any signs of my queen. So I'm, um, this didn't have any swarm cells on it the last time I looked, but I'm gonna just clear the edges. I'm going to look 
for any swarm cells. I do not see any, so I'm going to do another visual inspection for my queen and also look at what's going on inside of these cells. Those, there's very, very young larva, which is probably drone larva, since a lot of this is drone comb, but there's some brood as well present. So yeah, very, very, very young larva on this. No sign of my queen. So I'm going to change my label to include brood and I'm going to put a question mark on the drone because I don't see actually, I don't know for sure if it's a drone comb. It looks like it's large like a drone comb, but it might be that they're reshaping it for brood and I see other brood, um, capped brood cells. So I'm putting that on there, but there's no swarm cells. So that might be a candidate for moving to the new hive. Um, but I have a few other bars that don't have swarm cells and I, I want to find a stronger candidate if I can. Alright, again, doing an inspection for my queen. A quick initial inspection. And now I'm going to inspect for any swarm cells. Which this one didn't have any the last time, so I'm not expecting to see any. But I need to make sure and be very thorough in this split that we're doing. And now I'm going to give a more thorough inspection using my stand and try to see what's going on in here with my flashlight. All right, those appear to be um, Hmm. All right, very young larva, like maybe even eggs in here. Yeah, I see some eggs. Eggs look like just, um, like it's a, it's a straight white little dot and there's like a it's elongated that's what an egg looks like so I do see eggs on here so this is gonna stay um, but it appears to be all brood but it's not capped it's too young to move over to my hive because we want a workforce to emerge with my queen when we start the split all right this is marked down as being drone comb the last time I inspected. Yeah, I can see it looks like we have very mature drone comb. Oh, but I see a swarm cell for sure. Just um, even at this level of inspection, I'm looking for my queen right now. Come on, queenie. Yeah, there's a couple of swarm cells that look very well developed that I'm expecting are going to have. Um, the milk, milky white inside, but we'll see. I do not see my queen. Now I'm going to look inside of those swarm cells. So here's one right here on the end. Yeah, that is definitely, that's a queen in there. And then there's another one here that I see a bee inside of, like going into. So highly likely, um, see, I blew on it and this bee got annoyed, so it's probably a guard bee. Come on, clear the way, clear the way. I know you guys want to grow your mistresses. Come on, scooch, scooch. Yeah, that definitely has queens. So there's two swarm cells with queens, so two queen cells. So 
um, now I'm going to look to see if my actual, my real queen, my present queen is on this bar at all. So I'm moving over to my stand to do a very thorough visual inspection. I do not see my queen. I'm gonna bring my camera over so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. And I might reorient so you can see my inspection. So right there, you can see that is a swarm cell. There's a bee inside that's most likely making sure that there's um, the right amount of royal jelly occurring. These had a fully milky white base. So that's um, queen cell number one and queen cell number two is right there. So those are a little bit further into the like normally they're a little bit more on the edge so that's a little bit different than i've seen on my other bars so far um you can see yeah there's a worker bee there that like little fatty right there that's a drone so you see it's rotund body um and they have a very low buzz when they buzz around the frequency of their wings is just a lower sound that it makes and i'm going to reset my camera here and see if i can get it I don't know. Oh, it's hard to show everything in, that's going on in here. Especially with gloves on. All right, so you can kind of see. See, that works a little bit. All right, can't get everything, but it's worth a shot. Okay, so this is coming back in, of course, and this had no swarm cells on it detectable the last time I came in, so this is all very new. So I'm going to mark it 2, Q, C, and then box in it. So at this point, I have five um, baby queens growing um, at this point in my inspection. All right, this had what I thought was a um, swarm cell with an egg in it when I did my inspection last. So I'm expecting to see um, well-developed swarm cells on this. Yeah, look at that. And actually, it's much more along. Look how elongated this one is. Oh, this one's almost sealed. Oof. Yikes, there's another one up here. You see? And I bet there's another one. Oh yeah, there's another one here. So I need to look for my queen at this point. So I'm gonna do a visual inspection for my queen. And then I'm gonna take a look and see what's inside of these guys. Come on, queenie. Come on, queenie. Okay, I'm going to verify, but I'm expecting I'll have three um, swarm cells with... Yep, there's one. And these ones, I was pretty sure I saw something in when I came in on Thursday. So today's a Monday, so that would be four days ago. Yeah, there's definitely... I thought on this, this one that I had seen evidence that there was queen cells and I like with actual eggs in them and I was right. So again I'm doing a really careful visual inspection looking for my queen. I'll feel much better when I find her. Much better. She's in here. She's doing good work. She's laying lots of fresh babies. It's very interesting to actually see how they're growing these swarm cells because they are reworking the wax in the area around the swarm cell in order to develop like a really strong swarm cell um, with a queen in it. So that was three queen cells. So I'm at eight. I'm at eight queens so far that are growing. Now 
this one had just brewed the last time I looked. So I'm hoping it's capped brewed. I'm really crossing my fingers. It feels too light though. Oh, there's some capped brewed. So I'm gonna do my inspection of the edges to make sure that there is no swarm cells on here and certainly no queen uh, swarm cells with queens inside of them. So I'm using this smoker without smoke in it just to blow on them because that clears them out of the way. And when I blow with my breath, it actually, it's been aggravating them today. I think that they're just feeling a little panicky. Yeah, so I see no swarm cells. So I'm gonna move this over to my, oof, that wasn't the way I flipped my, you don't flip your top bars that way. That was not good. Just kind of flipped around, that's dangerous. This is old wax, so it's a lot stronger than fresh wax, but still. All right, I'm looking for my queen. And let's also take a look at what's actually happening. So I have some um, intermixed capped brood with what appears to be fairly well developed larva, like maybe six days old. So I feel pretty good that this is gonna be another bar to move over to my new hive, my split. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of eating happening. They don't like that smoker. It tells them they need to eat when they smell that smoke. All right, I don't see my queen. So I'm gonna take this with all the bees on it over to my other hive. I'll show that after I'm all done. So this is the second bar of brood. All right, I feel pretty good. I have two capped broods. Now this next bar had swarm cells. So again, we're expecting to see some queens growing. This is almost all capped brood with some capped drone. Let's see, my queen is on here. Whew. It's funny, so a lot of times the bees that you see falling off of this thing when I invert it are drones, because for whatever reason they just appear to not be good flyers. And I'm sure they, I mean, they have to be good flyers because they mate in midair. All right, so that one appears to have no queen. That one appears to have no queen in it either. Let me look for any others, but this one just looks like it has swarm cells, but no queens growing. Come on, clear out of the way, clear out of the way. So you can see right here, there's a swarm cell and right here there's a swarm cell, but there's nothing in there that I can see. I don't see evidence of eggs even, but I'm not, on the off case that there is an egg, I'm leaving it. So. All right, now this one had brood and drone the last time I inspected, no swarm cells. So, let's see what we got here. An initial inspection to just look to see if my queen's here. Oh, they have a little um, escape hole. Maybe I can show that off. Okay, I don't see my queen on initial glance. All right, so I wanna show sometimes what they do here um, is you can see they're coming through. There's like a hole that they've built, like a little pathway to get from one bar to the next. They create little openings, which means there might be a little hallway in my hive that they've formed. That's new. All right, so we're gonna look for swarm cells. No swarm cell. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, come on. I know you girls don't like this, I know. Come on, scooch a scooch. Oh, there's actually a swarm cell right there. No, they were really, really rare into swarm. Let's see, I'm, I don't think it's gonna have anything because it looks rather small. Yeah, I don't see anything, but I'm gonna leave this here on the off chance that it's not gonna get moved. And I think I have enough sealed brood in the split anyway. Um, oh, I didn't look for my queen. Let me do that really fast. I didn't see her, but I like to make like a much more careful visual inspection. 
because I gotta find her. She's gotta move to the new hive. So I have to locate her. If I don't find her on this path, then I have to find her going back through from back or from front to back, which is going to be a pain. All right, I'm going to mark that I have a swarm. So, you no know, S, and I don't have any queens growing, so I'm not going to mark that. All right, this next one only had brood the last inspection. Feels very light, so it feels like it's going to be all mostly hatched out brood. This is one of my oldest combs. There's like the rippling on it. You can see it's so old that like the wax has this like kind of ripple going on. All right, I'm gonna inspect for any swarm cells. I'd like to get this comb out of here, it's so old, but she just keeps laying eggs in it. Go figure. Alright, now I'm going to look for my queen. I don't see any swarm cells. Oh! Jeez. Sorry, girls. see what's going on inside of these. I should move this over. All right, there's uncapped brood, but, and there's some capped brood as well that's like just about to emerge. And I think some eggs as well. <sighs> I'm debating whether I take this one over to the new hive, because that would be more workforce um, for her. I think I'm gonna do it. So I'm going to take this over to the new hive with all the bees on it. I think that's all I'm going to need except for some honey. Which actually I did. Alright, I have enough brood in the new hive at this point. I can just focus on locating my queen and then locating any additional swarm cells. Alright, this one feels very light. And this one had swarm cells I was quite, pretty sure had eggs in them when I looked on, Friday, on Thursday. All right, quick inspection, I don't see my queen. Um, so we're gonna just make sure that there are, oh yeah, there's like several swarm cells, look at that. All right, there's one, two, and those look like the bees are all over them. So, yeah, that one I don't see anything. Actually, but, um, that was, um, there's some swarm cells that it looks like they're deconstructing over here. So the best candidates were right here for swarm cells. But see how different those look? They're like very bulbous, but I don't see any signs of jelly in them. So. I don't think that those have queens. We're gonna leave them here, but again, we're not gonna move anything else except for probably resources to the new hive at this point. So I'm just gonna keep them marked as swarm. This one had swarm cells. Um, this wasn't one of the suspicious, suspicious ones on Thursday. I, I marked the two suspicious ones that I thought had eggs and um, I was evidently wrong about the last one that I thought was suspicious. This is another one of my old ones. Up oh, there's a couple swarm cells. Ooh, there's a number of swarm cells actually. And there's three on this side. Okay. Let's see. I don't see anything on that. 
Right, come on, bonk, bonk. Oh, I don't see anything there. Um, uh, it does not look like there's anything there either. Okay, now I'm gonna look at what's going on in the frames and I'm gonna look for my queen. And then I'm gonna return them because they just have swarm cells but no developing queen from what I can tell. Alright, lots of capped brood on this side, like tons of capped brood. With some pollen, which means they're gonna put some honey. Um Yeah, lots of pollen um, and more cap brood, so. And no queen. Yet, no queen. Alright. Alright, right, this had brood and drone comb, no swarm cells last time I looked. Yep, you can see the not, the hatching out drones. Okay, on initial inspection, I don't see my queen. Now we're gonna look for swarm cells or queens. Right. Yeah, I don't see any swarm cells, but this is gonna stay here. I think I have enough bees on my new hive. It's a cool day, so they're not doing a lot of flying yet, um, which means they're not buzzing around a whole lot. And frankly, I don't know if they're maybe in a pre-swarm mode where they're just like a little bit more chill. Oh, there's a very print found. This has got to have a queen in it. Um, so there's one swarm cell the last time I looked and just looking at it right now, it looks like there's, it's very elongated right here. You see? So that's got to have a queen. Yeah, that's for sure a queen um, in there. This is a very unstable wax. This must be a little bit of newer wax because it's wobbling a little bit. I have to be really careful holding it this way. Ooh, they don't want to clear out of the way. They're going to get mad at me at a point. See, I have... Oh no, that was a drone. I thought I had a angry worker bee. So there's definitely one queen on here, or you know, in a swarm cell. Now let's see if my actual queen is on here and what else is going on. So I'm gonna note one QC. That makes nine queens are growing at this point. And it's survival of the fittest. So the first viable queen to hatch, if she's strong enough, she's gonna go around and kill all the other queens. Um, lots of drones that are about to hatch. Um, looks like pollen is otherwise. Yeah, there's just lots of drone comb and pollen being put up. I don't see signs of like freshly laid eggs. Now let's make sure my queen's not here. There's some more windows in this one. Four more bars that I need to find my queen on or else I have to go back through everything. All right, this had swarm cells in them. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's definitely a pronounced swarm cell that I think will probably have something in it. I can just see.
Lots of brood, capped brood. I don't see my queen. Um, let's look inside. I don't know, actually, that one might not be anything. But there's a swarm cell there for sure. But yeah, there's nothing inside. So let's see if there's anything else. Oh, there's another swarm cell. So there's two on here. Um, they're frost. There's the like little weird frost thingy stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look like there's anything in those though. Okay, now I'm gonna do a close inspection looking for my queen. Sorry, this is exceptionally repetitive. Everyone's waiting in suspense. All 21 of you. Lots of capped brood, like freshly capped brood because there's a couple that are on cap on here. three bars to find her on though. I'm a little nervous. Alright, this one had brood and none of the remainder had any signs of swarm cells in previous inspections. Young larva. Yeah, just young larva, it looks like. Sign of my queen. Oh man.
Hmm. Okay, there appears to be uh, like a deformed um, swarm cell. But I don't see any actual swarm cells, so. Ooh. Let's take a closer look. Because if I don't find my queen, then I really gotta start going backwards through this whole thing until I find her. And then I need to search the other hive in case I somehow missed her. Gosh darn these drones. Let's see, is she in here at all?
is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Saint Anthony, Saint Anthony, come around. Something's been lost and cannot be found. Please help me to find my queen. Oh, there she is. Thank you, Jesus. All right, now, this had some swarm cells on it. So what I'm going to do, I have my queen. She is right here. Oh, she, I saw her a second ago. There she is. Okay, she's making her way up, like right there. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to take, oh man. All right, where is she? There she is. This is not ideal, but I might shake her into my new hive. I don't know what else to do. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna actually show that happening. So you guys will see my new hive. And I have to add some bees here anyway um, from some, some bars just to make sure they have enough workforce. So right now, this is empty. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up this and I'm gonna shake the bees from the comb, making sure that she's in there still, but I'm gonna shake them off into this like wide area. This was a former hive, so there's a little bit of dead bees on the bottom. Um, I consolidated this hive last year, so hold on. So on visual inspection, she was just right over on this part of the bar. So I'm just gonna go make sure everything's in there. I'm gonna shake these girls out. Um, and I have to make sure everyone comes loose. They really do not wanna be in here. Um, so I need to actually get my brush. That's gonna stink. Alright. Alright, so to make 100 percent sure, I'm gonna gently get everyone in there and we really do not like this. I'm trying to be gentle. I'm hoping that my queen came off in that first shake. And this is not great because it does a little bit of damage, but I'm following the less crowder method of creating a split. 
Uh, at least I'll be able to show off like a perfectly clear bar. All right. Okay. So any of the mature bees that are being brushed off are actually gonna go back to the other hive. So, oh, there's actually quite a lot of swarm cells on here that I'm not even sure I noticed. So, yeah, I have some that are just flying back up. So, I think at a point I'm just gonna probably assume that my queen made it in. Yeah, they're very angry. So you can see when they stand with their with their bottoms in the air, they're trying to find something to sting when they do that. They are very irritated when they take that posture. All right, not my favorite way, um, but I didn't want to abandon. So I'm looking this over. I don't see anything. Um, so I'm actually gonna put this back together. So I'm gonna put in Oh, I need to get like some honey actually, so I can't fully put this together. Um, so I am gonna, okay, I'm gonna close this back up for a second to keep my, oh shoot, I probably just killed my queen. Oh, that was not smart. Lord, please protect these little innocent creatures from my incompetence. Please, Lord. All right, so I'm gonna get the top reset here. They are not happy bees. They are not happy in the least. I'd feel much better if I saw my living queen. All right, so you can see what they're doing. They are very annoyed. And I'm actually, I'm doing a visual scan right now to see if I can spot my queen, if she's injured at all. I'm hoping that she actually just made it in here, but you can see everyone is on high alert right now in this hive. So they are very, very angry, which is very right because I was just a horrible, horrible beekeeper. These poor little things. All right. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to maybe add one more bar of like a honey for the end to kind of top, uh, cap them off where the brood is and so now I'm going to put this down and Lord have mercy on these little creatures all right so my two hives are like roughly 20 feet from each other so here is that bar that I swept free with the queen on it. So you can see really clearly, here's the like kick cereal puff drone comb. Here's regular brood comb that's like a little bit flatter. You can see there's some pollen being packed, which is probably going to be turned into honey. And then there's actually two swarm cells and then some that are being deconstructed. And then here's two more swarm cells. So you can see very clearly I didn't spot any queens being grown in those, just swarm cells according to my notes right there. Brood and drome and swarm cells. So at this point, I'm gonna put this back together and carefully just kind of set it right because at this point, I'm leaving this hive alone so they can grow queens and they're gonna know there's not a queen in here anymore, you know, reasonably quick. You're not gonna detect their queen, but they're also going to be fairly confident that there are some baby queens coming. Um, and overall, 
I think I have nine that I definitely have queens. I have one queen cell. And then at this point, I'm just gonna put these all back together. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine queens that are developing. And it takes, I think it's, I wanna say it's 16 days for queens to fully gestate. And I'm gonna go show at the end of this, my kinda chart that I'm using to gauge where these are going to be in their development. So when queens emerge, again, it becomes like the, the winner. All right, I'm gonna take this. Um, this didn't have anything. This was filling with, with honey. I'm gonna use this to cap off my new hive. of the work away from these girls. And so now there's three queen cells here. I'm gonna put a new bar in so they can start drawing some comb here because they're gonna want to start building um, and making room. So my foragers are all here still. So they're gonna continue to go out and look for honey. Um, so I'm gonna add probably three new bars that have no comb on them whatsoever. Hmm, I'm gonna have to go get some from my other hive. Alright, so I have this is empty, this is empty, this is empty. So that'll give them some work to do. And they get to do some work here. I'm putting my follower board in right there. And I'm just gonna have this space be open. So I did some cleanup on some of this but I didn't do everything because I just wanted to leave them be after I removed their queen. There's my basket of stuff. This is my tools. I unfortunately didn't have my queen cage with me, which was a bit of an oversight. So that's down. So here is my new hive. So We've got one, two, three bars. This is all honey. This is brood, 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 honey, and then this is totally empty. So I have basically one, two, three, well, I don't know, this is building. So one, two, three, four, five, six bars. Um, and that's what Les Crowder, he says five bars is like the absolute minimum for starting a new hive. Now I wanted to show off something kind of cool about this hive. Oop, one of these are sticking out a little bit to block it. Okay, let's see. All right, that's down. Now, this other hive I got, I ordered these off of eBay from a builder because when we spec'd building our own, the cost of materials and the time, it was just not worth it to make our own top bar. So, this we got with a window. So in the summer, they're going to bond to that and I'll have to cut the um, combs free, but it's kind of cool because I can at least see if they're alive. It doesn't give me a lot of other information other than that, but I can see if they're alive. I can show the inside of the hive off to others. So it's kind of cool. And at this point, I'm going to log off and pray and um, put a video together to share with others. So this is Kit and I'm signing off.